welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Zaya the Rebel. No one will block my path. They say I don't know when to quit. <laughs> like that's a weakness. Zaya's passive is clean cuts. After casting an ability, Zaya's next few basic attacks are empowered, as indicated below her health bar. Each empowered basic attack will pierce through all enemies in their path, dealing reduced damage to targets other than the one you clicked on. They'll also leave a feather behind when they land. We'll talk more about feathers in a bit. When playing on the same team as her true love, Rakan, Zaya gets a second passive, Lover's Leap. Wait for me! If either Zaya or Rakan is recalling, they can sync up to return to base together. Zaya's Q is double daggers. Zaya throws two blades in a line, damaging all enemies they hit. Though, like her passive, they deal reduced damage for all targets beyond the first. The blades also leave a feather where they land. Zaya's Q and passive let her trade in lane while staying safely behind her own minions. After slicing up Thresh with a pair of blades, Clean Cuts kicks in to give her opponents an extra licking. A thousand cuts is only the beginning. Zaya's W is Deadly Plumage. Zaya conjures a storm of Feather Blades, increasing her attack speed and granting bonus damage to her next few basic attacks. If Zaya attacks an enemy champion while empowered by Deadly Plumage, she'll gain a short burst of movement speed as well. If Rakan is nearby when Zaya activates Deadly Plumage, he'll also gain the ability's effects. The best time to flaunt your Deadly Plumage is when an enemy overextends. When the Chain Warden whips a hook, Zaya uses her W speed boost to make him really feel the sting of embarrassment. Hmm, dodging seems to be a weak spot of yours. Zaya's E is Blade Collar. She pulls in all nearby feathers, each dealing damage to any enemies they strike on the way. If a target is struck by at least three feathers, they'll be briefly rooted. One of the Rebels' bread and butter combos uses double daggers and a single well-aimed auto-attack to set up Blade Collar's root. Here, Zaya waits until the loose cannon steps close and hits with the full Q auto E combo. Zaya's ultimate is Featherstorm. Zaya leaps into the air, becoming briefly untargetable. After a short delay, she hurls a storm of blades in a cone, each of which deals damage and leaves a feather upon landing. Zaya may continue to move while airborne. The cleanest Featherstorm plays have used both its defensive and offensive power. Here, Zaya is taking a risk by playing rough with the Rabble Rouser. She storms her way to safety just as Jin's W comes in, simultaneously setting up a field of feathers to ensure the fat man's demise. As far as obstacles go, that was about a three out of 10. Both Zaya and her opponents have to keep consistently aware of where her feathers are. When this clueless Kate tries to chill out in the middle of Zaya's feather bed, she ends up trading some of her health for nothing, actually. It's a bad trade. Zaya needs a little time to set up her feather trap, so you need to keep a cool head even in hot situations. Here, Zaya makes a fatal error when fleeing from Volibear. She uses Blade Collar with only two feathers out, missing the snare and ensuring her own demise. Uh, oh, crap. With the extra wave surf potential granted by clean cuts, double daggers, and even Blade Collar, Zaya is one of the League's best and fastest pushing marksmen. And when the Rebel activates Deadly Plumage, both she and her lover turn into tower-taking monsters. I call that killing one stone with two birds. <laughs> I think we're supposed to laugh now? At what? Zaya is great at peeling for herself as long as you have the mechanics. When J4 dives in, Zaya gives him a mouthful of feathers with a perfectly timed feather storm. The immediate blade color secures kill number one. Turning her attention to Kog'Maw, a slight juke to the left ensures Blade Color number two hits and roots her Void Foe. A flyby from Rakan sets Zaya up for the kill on Kog, and they both live happily ever... Hmm. Well, they tried. Once per fight, Zaya gets to ignore enemy spells and set up an almost guaranteed root. 
Diving through Glacial Storm and Flash Frost, Feather Storm followed by Blade Collar forces Janna's and Jinx's flashes. Without any cooldowns left to defend themselves, she and Lee team up to prove once and for all who's the big bird on this street. I'm bored. Thanks for tuning in to the Zaya Champion Spotlight. Got anxiety to learn more about the other new champion? Well then head on over to the Rakan Champion Spotlight. <laughs>